Hey there, my fellow Dungeon Masters. What's for lunch? Cuisine is an important part of any society and culture. Think back to many of the fondest memories you have of your childhood. How many of them revolve around food? Maybe the cookies your grandma made, or a soup your mom made you on a cold day, or making homemade pizza with your dad. Something like that, that sticks with you and forms those memories that last with you throughout your entire life. And make certain things unique to you and where you grew up. That's how your world should feel too. You should come up with different cuisines for different areas and what the people eat. Because what people eat can also in a way define them to a degree. Do people in one area uh, consume a lot of meat? Are they, you know, big on protein because they're big, big beefy, burly people who like to go out and do a lot of hard physical labor? Maybe they are vegetarians and they lead a calmer, more peaceful life because they believe that all life is sacred. Coming up with different foods for different areas not only helps define the culture, it helps make those people more memorable to your players. Because now, when they think of an area, they aren't just thinking of the town that they're going to, they think of the, oh yeah, there was that tavern, Ellie's. She made this amazing mutton pie, those little hand pies that we could take with us on our trip. And they were so good, the way she seasoned them with cardamom, it was amazing. And making those connections really helps your players feel like they're in a world that's a real living, breathing thing as opposed to just a bunch of cardboard cutouts that are in the way of their next encounter with monsters to get more experience. Now, what I do is when I'm coming up with different areas, I'll come up with a couple of foods that are unique to that area. Maybe this area, turnips, is the big crop and you're having turnip stew and turnip beer and, and you know turnip pie and all that stuff. This is that from a game I actually played in where turnips was a big thing in the area. And using that created kind of this unique sense to that little village. Also, come up with a menu for like taverns. And remember, this is a fantasy tavern. You don't have to come up with some big eight page, you know, Greek restaurant menu as much as I love those places. You don't need that. You need a sheet, one page, three, four dishes, a couple of drinks. That's all you need. Come up with that and give that to your players when they come to a tavern. Now it's not just simply the, I'll have ale and stew. There's a type of stew. There's different types of ale or beer or mead. Different things they can drink, different things they can eat, and it makes everything seem more like a real world they want to spend time in. So, till next time, give me an initiative roll.